Greetings once again from beautiful Honolulu, Hawaii. I'm James White, this is Freakin' Reviews, and I've got five items today that are supposed to be for travel. They might have other uses, but they're supposed to be for travel. I brought them here all the way to Hawaii with me to see how well they actually work. So that's today's video, let's get right to it. If you've been with me for a while, you know I'm a sucker for Hawaii. I come here as often as I can. And I usually try to bring things with me to review as well. So today I've got five things and uh, it's kind of a mixed bag of different products. So let's get started with one that I'm not sure how much use it really has and that is this travel hanger. When I was scouring Amazon for travel products, this one came up, it came up highly rated. Most hotels and condos that you stay in have hangers in them already. So I'm not sure how useful this is unless you're going somewhere where you know you're not gonna have hangers or if you're driving by camper or by car, that might be different as well. It's kind of a cool idea. As you can see, it, it folds up, it goes out once. You could probably put something like a child's uh, shirt on it like this and then it folds out once again. You have a little notch here where you can put straps or tank tops and it does fold up into a nice compact design like that. I even actually stuck them in my sandals to save even more space when I packed them up. I was kind of creative. I, I put the hangers inside of these sandals here so I wouldn't really waste any more space. So they didn't really take up any extra space. So here's a few scenes of how the travel hangers have worked for me. All right, let's take a look in the closet here. Oh, what do you know? They already have hangers. These are some nice ones too. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 16 hangers in here. These are pretty sturdy looking hangers. Now, I, hotels don't usually have this many hangers, I don't think. I don't know about you guys, but I always have to have my hangers facing that way with the front of the shirt here. If I do it the opposite direction, it makes me crazy. It's a low CD thing of mine. I want to try it with this tank top because you have you have this little section here. Now you can hang it right there, but I was wondering if you could do it like that. No, you can't do it like that. That is that's that's ridiculous. I think like this is just for like kids' shirts, things like that, not for tank tops. But it does have a notch for tank tops. There we go. I, honestly, these hangers are actually better, but if you didn't have hangers in there, I guess it's a good thing. So I posted a small clip of this on social media. And by the way, if you don't follow me on social media, consider doing so, because I usually talk about the products I'm in progress of reviewing. But anyway, someone asked if it could hold the heavy items, and I did try it with my coat back home, and it held it up, although it was a little bit flimsy, but here's how that went. It holds this coat all right, I think. It feels a little bit flimsy compared to a regular hanger, but it's not breaking, so I guess it's, I guess it's sufficient. Next up, this is an As Seen on TV product, and you know that's my specialty. Well, maybe you don't know that, but that is my specialty. That's how I got on YouTube. But this is the Pack and Stack. It even sounds like a, a, a As Seen on TV name, Pack and Stack. The first thing I noticed when I saw this was that it looked a lot like something I reviewed almost exactly a year ago last December called the Always Fresh Vacuum Sealer for food. This is for clothing. I will say, though, that this, the, the primary use of this seems to be for storage more than travel. Um, but it does say travel on the packaging and I did want to try it for travel because they have those space bags and they have different types of bags for travel. So this one you put your clothing in the bag, this sucks all the air out and then you have everything compressed down. Now the first time I used it, I put it in my suitcase two nights before I was going to leave and the next day the air was it wasn't a vacuum sealed anymore. So I resealed it and I was extra sure that it was sealed properly and it held up. So I do think maybe the seal wasn't 100%. That's something you're gonna to have to be aware of. Once I got it sealed, it did hold up. It held up in my suitcase, getting jostled around a lot. So I think it works. I'm not sure it's better than the space bags. I'm not even sure that, that this is better than my typical rolling technique where I roll my shirts up I roll my shorts up into a circle. I think this actually created a few more wrinkles than that. So here's some scenes when I originally unboxed it, compared it to the Always Fresh, and how it got here in Honolulu and how well it did. This is the pack and stack. All right, it comes with four storage bags, the pump, and requires three AAA batteries, not included. Before I get to that though, I gotta pull out this Always Fresh. This is a nasty on TV food vacuum sealer, which looks very familiar. I reviewed this last year. Now, is it me? It could just be me. You tell me. Does it look like they may have repurposed the same thing and just changed the color? I mean, everything about it looks the same. It sure seems like the same thing to me. Blue, green, different text, everything else, 
Same thing. Yeah, well, these are good sized bags. I guess with this small box, I was expecting like some small, like gallon sized bags. These are huge. But for this video, I'm focusing more on the travel aspect of it, which they do show on the back of the box. And right there, it does say ideal for traveling. So it's not a, it's not a stretch to want to pack up your clothes with this thing. The Always Fresh had a slider like this also. There's a line right here you're not supposed to fill past, so I did not do that. It's just like the Always Fresh. Take this off. It seems like it's going kind of slow, but I think it is actually working. Good thing my flight isn't leaving today. Now it says it's supposed to reduce volume by up to 50%. Let's see about that. It's a lot slower than I thought it was gonna be. So I'm gonna say that's it. That goes in the suitcase. Did that really save much room? I'm not really sure it saved that much. It's only been a day and a half and it's already lost, lost its seal. I'm gonna give it the benefit of the doubt. I'm gonna reseal it before I leave tomorrow morning, but I'm kind of disappointed. I'm gonna refill it again and hopefully it can last for my trip. So far, so bad. There we go again. I double checked to make sure the seal is actually sealed perfectly, so it shouldn't be a problem. Hopefully it was just a fluke and it works better next time. All right, let's open this up and see how it turned out. All right, well, it, seem, it seems to have stayed sealed. Now, I don't know what happened the first time I did it because it did lose the seal. I'm gonna leave this here because I don't need some of these clothes until probably tomorrow. I'm gonna leave it another day and see if it stays. I'm gonna leave it just like this. And uh, if it stays sealed through that, then maybe it was my fault the first time. I'm gonna see how it does on its own for another day here in Honolulu. The clothes have been in here for about 48 hours now. Uh, six of those were on an airplane. So I'm not sure what happened that first time, but since then, I, I, I really made sure that this was sealed. That could have been part of it, but I think it's held up. Now let's pull the clothes out of there and see how wrinkled they are. This is my Hawaii tank top from last time I was here. It's a little bit wrinkled, kind of wrinkled. I think my rolling technique doesn't deliver as many wrinkles as this does. Hmm. It may have saved a little bit of space, but it also wrinkled my shirts more. So I don't know, I'm a little on the fence about this. I think the rolled up shirt is less wrinkled than the ones that were in the pack and stack. That's hardly any wrinkles at all. Maybe a few at the bottom. I don't know, what do you guys think? Now for my next one, we, we had the pack and stack now we got the pack and wipe. That's right, we got two pack ins right now. Now this one I have not used at all. These are also supposedly have multi-uses and travel is one of them. These are little tablets that you get wet and it turns into a towel. Now how cool is that? If it works, let's try it out. This is actually the travel tube that comes with it. Let me grab one of these out of here. It looks like an Alka-Seltzer. Oh, that's obnoxious. That's so obnoxious. Every time I come here, there's always some loud sounds down there. Anyways, the, this item, the pack and wipe, has the shortest instructions I've ever seen in my life. It's two words, two steps, one word for each step. And that is wet and unfold. Wet and unfold. That's it. How much easier can it get? They're reusable, durable, and compact. That's pretty compact. And they do include this little travel tube here. I think you can fit five of them in here. So you can toss this in a backpack. You have access to five towels, which is actually pretty cool, if it works. Let's try one out right now. And by the way, I'm going to the beach probably tomorrow. I'm gonna take these with me and try to wipe some of the sand off my face. But I've got a glass of water right here. I'm gonna do one now and I'll do one tomorrow. All right, I had to move the camera because I don't want to get anything wet over there. Let's try it out. Oh, wow. It's expanding. Oh, there it is. Whoa. Now that is pretty cool. Very fancy. It worked. It kind of feels more like one of those heavy duty paper towels than an actual towel, but let me see. Yeah, yeah. No smell to it. I don't know why I'm doing this. Uh, I wouldn't normally do this with a paper towel, but I don't know what else to wipe it off with at the moment. So I'm just wiping it on myself. It feels pretty, pretty good. It's not scented or anything like that. And I don't think there's any soap. It's just a towel. It's basically like a really heavy duty wet paper towel. Let's see how easy it is to tear. Is it easy to tear? 
Yeah, it's easy to tear. They didn't advertise that it can't tear, so I shouldn't be too surprised that it tore. But anyways, I do like the idea behind this. It's actually really handy. So next up, I'm gonna take this down to the beach with my, uh, another product, which I haven't shown you yet. See how it really works. All right, for item number four, this is the most I paid for any of these items, although the last item is technically more expensive. This is the Click portable chair, which has blown up my Instagram. In fact, that's the reason I reviewed it, because I'm so tired of seeing it. I'm just gonna see if it really works. I think I paid $89 for this. It is a fold-up portable chair. It holds up to 300 pounds. It sits 12 inches off the ground. They say it's good for the beach, which I will be taking it to. They say it's good for travel. I'm traveling. And they say it's very portable. And I did put it in my carry-on suitcase and it didn't take up a lot of room. Now they say it's water bottle sized. I think that's a bit of a stretch. I don't usually carry on water bottles that big. I'll compare it to a water bottle down at the beach as well. So I did open it one time. I didn't even sit in it. I just wanted to make sure that it wasn't broken. That would have been fun bringing a broken chair all the way to Hawaii with me. So let me show you how it works and then I'm gonna take it out on the beach and actually put it through a real world field test. My first question to you is, is a $90 foldable chair worth it? Even if it's amazingly compact and holds a lot of weight, I don't know. That's a lot of money for a chair, at least a folding chair. All you do is just extend these legs. Until they snap. If you don't, if you don't do it until they snap, you might find out yourself falling backwards on the beach. And there it is. Ah, all right. It it feels pretty good. It feels pretty sturdy. My wallet feels much lighter after buying it too. So <laughs> they do a lot of good for me. It works well. It's easy. It seems very easy to unfold and then fold up. It seems like it's holding my weight. It seems like it emptied my wallet. So I think they've got everything going on for them. Let's take it out on the beach. Well, actually it's gonna be tomorrow. But tomorrow I'm taking it out on the beach along with the towels to see how it actually stacks up. Brad's gonna try it out now. Is this the chair you're talking about? That is the chair of cheers. I mean, actually, it's a click chair. Click chair. Yeah. Right, like this, right? Yeah. I would hope so. What do you think? I was expecting to fall over, but I didn't. That's good. So, that's well, good. It held you up. That's good. I don't know if uh, I'm really the uh, test for uh, its capacity, but well, it that, works fine. Th that's good. Is it comfortable? Yeah, it is, actually. Okay, good. So let's fast forward ahead to tomorrow at the beach and see how it goes. All right, how's your December going? Mine's not going too bad here in Waikiki. All right, so I've got the click chair in this backpack, which I think is actually a little bit impressive. So I'm happy that it actually fit in my backpack. Now, is it water bottle sized? I don't think so. That'd be a pretty big water bottle, if you ask me. All right, so let me set this thing up and enjoy this nice, warm Hawaiian weather. I'm getting faster at it. All right, I was worried it might sink a lot in the sand, but it isn't really. I got one more thing to try here on the beach though. As I'm sitting here, I got my bottle of water. I've got my, my Alka-Seltzer shaped towel. Uh, there you go. Get a sand off my hands here. I'm set. I'm gonna turn the camera off now and enjoy the beach for another few hours. So I'll check back in a little bit later on. But so far, the click chair is doing pretty well. I actually think as compact as it is, I'm, pr I'm pretty impressed. I'm not sure if it's $90 worth of impressedness, but it's still impressive. I'll see you later. All right, I've got a very important update. My son, Brian, down there has been using it. And uh, he has something to say about it. All right, Brian, what do you think about the chair? Well, I like the chair a lot, actually. Yeah? It kind of matches your, your, your swimsuit. Yeah, see? You got the red and black, and then the yeah. red and black. Perfect. Now, it sinks a little bit in the sand, but not a lot. All right, so you think that the click chair is a, is a hit? I think so, would, but would, I don't want to spend $90 on it. That was my next question. Yeah. So, good chair, maybe not 90 bucks. 50% off, I'm on board. There you go. Well, maybe next Black Friday. Yeah. All right, now let's enjoy this nice winter weather, okay? Yeah. All right. All right, for my last item. This is technically the most expensive, but I did get it on sale. Normally, it's $99. 
I paid $79.4 because it was a, I believe it was a Black Friday sale. Now this one, I think calling a travel item is a stretch. They do say it's for travel, but they have a travel version. And that is the ostrich pillow. This is more of a desk pillow than the travel pillow. I will say also, it does not compress down very small at all. In fact, my son had to take it as his personal item on the airplane because I couldn't fit it in my suit. It would have taken my, my entire carry-on bag. Does not compress down, not good for travel. All they do say travel is one of the uses for it. They have a smaller travel pillow. I would suggest that if you like it. So I've already used it, but I want to show you how it works. Let me flash back to my unboxing and then I'm gonna do a few more things here. I've been waiting for this thing for a long time now. I'm finally getting to open it up. Ooh, I can't wait. Oh, there it is. Oh, oh, oh. I can't wait for Hawaii. I gotta try it right now. It's not, not quite what I expected. I'm not sure what I expected, but this isn't quite it. It's very soft. It's way softer than I thought it was gonna be. Wow. I can't wait to try this out on an airplane. My kid's gonna be embarrassed, but I don't care. All right, so I did use it on the plane and I found that I couldn't even put my head all the way down because it was hitting the seat in front of me. Although once I found a comfortable position, it actually worked quite well, although it was pretty hot. Once, by the time I took it off my head and the airplane, my head, my entire head was sweaty. That might be an unfair, uh, demonstration so let me go inside and show you how it works and maybe a more realistic scenario I need a travel gadget for cranking your knee on the table now this is how you're really supposed to use the ostrich pillow they say travel I don't know about travel I'm not sure about travel I did use it on the airplane and I didn't think it was I thought it was all right it was just too hot and stuffy in there it's more of a desk pillow so here's what you're supposed to and what I think is interesting I have tried it at home is you can put your face flat on the table and uh, your nose and mouth don't hit the table, like this. I take that back, my nose just hit the table, but it's close. If you go at an angle, it doesn't hit the table so much. But these holes up here are not supposed to be like dinosaur eyes or Jar Jar Binks eyes, they're supposed to be hand rests. I will say that that's extraordinarily claustrophobic. If you don't like breathing carbon dioxide, I don't know if that's a good idea but it does work for some people. Now, I think other people will probably use it um, sitting up where they have their head up against something like a, t like a wall over here. Do something like this. That's actually not too bad. It's not terrible, it's pretty good. I mean, I, I would normally, this would be uncomfortable, but it's not so bad right now. I think the only thing that, the only problem I have with it is eventually your face gets, I guess unless your office is freezing or wherever you're at, Otherwise, it gets it get kind of hot in here. And it is pretty ridiculous. When I put this on the plane, I was looking around and I thought people were going to be staring at me because I had this goofy looking thing on my head. Fortunately, nobody did uh, that I know of. But it is, it's kind of a strange looking thing to have on your head. And you might get laughed at in the name of comfort. I don't know. I'm dying. If I had hair, it'd be sweaty right now. All right, so let's recap these travel gadgets. First up with the hangers. They definitely work. They're more flimsy than a regular hanger. I can see how they'd have a use for someone like in a camper, or maybe someone who's a little bit OCD about using hangers that other people have used. But I think for most people, when they go to stay in a hotel or a condo, they're gonna have hangers, don't really need them. So, you know, they work, but probably not very necessary. All right, as far as the pack and stack goes, the, what I consider to be a repurposed, always fresh for clothing, it might be better for storage, but you really gotta be careful to get that seal down or the seal's not gonna hold and it kinda defeats the purpose. Also, my clothing in this were more wrinkled than when I just roll up my normal way, so something to consider. I think it's kinda situational. Some people will like it, some people won't. It's probably not something I'm gonna use very often. Now, as far as the pack and wipe goes, these are actually pretty neat. I'm gonna leave some of these in my car just in case you never know when you're gonna need uh, a towel. Of course, you need some water with it too. I'm not sure how I would rehydrate this without water unless I put it in my mouth or something. That doesn't sound very safe. But I think it's actually a really good idea. I think this would have some uses for people. Throw it in your purse, in your bag, in your car. It doesn't take up much space and it does provide you kind of a, an emergency towel in some situations. The towel is, is more like a paper towel than a regular towel, but I think a lot of people would find this to be useful. And it's pretty cheap too, six bucks for 25 of them. 
Now the click chair. The only negative I think about this is the price at 90 bucks, but it works really well. It's very sturdy, well made, much sturdier than the typical beach chair. I think there are people that, that backpack or go to the beach that would find this to be very useful. If the price had come down just a little bit, I think they'd actually have a hit on their hands. Maybe just because it's kind of new, it's more expensive, I don't know. I will probably end up using this more often. In fact, I'm going to the beach a little bit later. I'll probably take it with me. Now, as far as the ostrich pillow goes, you know, I'm kind of on the fence about this one. It's actually extremely comfortable. It's very soft around your face. They do, it does give you kind of a cocoon effect. Um, I, like again, it says travel is a use for it. I'd get the travel pillow, not this behemoth Jar Jar Binks pillow. My pros would be that it's very soft. It's comfortable. You can kind of lean against almost anything. Uh, and make a, a bed out of it. But the negatives would be that it does, it does make my head really hot. And it's kind of claustrophobic when I put my head down. So it's kind of an interesting one. I, I'm not really sure how I feel about it. Would I recommend it? Maybe if you sleep at your desk at work a lot, that might be a good place for it. I wouldn't work, recommend it for travel. I definitely don't think this is the travel version to try out. And at a hundred bucks, even 79 for the Black Friday deal, it seems kind of expensive. But I will say one thing, it is an awesome looking ridiculous item. One of the most ridiculous looking items I've used and probably the most useful ridiculous looking item that I've ever used. Also, I wanted to mention my son tried the ostrich pillow on the airplane. He even put his headphones up in there while he was using it. It's kind of funny, but it actually worked for him. But he also didn't keep it on very long because it was kind of a little bit stuffy in there. Have you guys used any of these products? Tell me what you think in the comments below. Please follow my social profiles for progress pictures videos as I go. And please subscribe for more product reviews from me, James White, with Freakin' Reviews.